Oh my gosh, I was gonna just show you guys a Stormbringer team because of the free Stormbringers and the tempo we just do what? is gonna start it out with Stormbringer. This is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a good one. All right, so since a lot of players are now getting their free Stormbringer, I think it's a good time for me to go and share some comps with you guys that you guys can possibly use for the arena. Um, that doesn't require a two second white lily for sure here. Uh, but first one is going to be this one. I, I personally think right now it's going to be the best one uh, that a lot of players can utilize. Uh, and it's going to be easier to use against a lot of teams. It's going to be this right over here with the Stormbringer one shot comp. But instead of using the Rebel, it's going to be with Burnt Cheese uh, two second start. And then, of course, with the new. Uh, paper charm that we have gotten level one is perfectly fine as well all right uh so this is going to be uh the best team in my opinion that you guys can use and um you guys can use golden cheese instead of white lily as well it is a possible replacement but the rest of them is gonna be have to be with this uh it's very hard to replace uh, any of these really um if anything it's gonna be replacing storm uh bringer with you know another dps or anything like that or like a financier but stormbringer is going to be the best and then of course uh the treasures are going to be the scroll paper charm and the whistle level one again is perfectly fine uh, because it's actually going to be just better than uh the level 12 of the rare one all right um so this one again is going to be the non two second white lily but here we go let's go over the topping real quick and the biscuit so topping is going to be five of the juicy apple jelly for stormbringer focusing on damage resist as well as a bit of cooldown and some crit our uh icicle yeti is possibly a three second or even a four second all right and that's going to be with a uh, full on searing raspberry uh if possible zero cooldown and then just focusing on attack and crit and then the biscuit as well if you just don't have any cooldown that's going to be the thing here uh, and then burn cheese you're going to need five of the swift chocolate uh, and that's going to be in order for you to have a two second start burn cheese all right and then focusing on the damages and with some attack speed because you want that stun to be out really really early and then the biscuit right now is uh just a random uh biscuit that i have on uh uh, burn cheese uh, epic one our white lily with a three second start which means that you need at least a 17.3 percent on the cooldown effect and then uh damage resist if possible and then your biscuit if possible you can get the damage resist bypass that's going to be probably uh, a very very good one here for white lily especially since we're not using the two second all right and the next one is going to be our frost queen with five of the Syrian raspberry focusing on some damage resist as well as some attack and crit and some cooldown it's not really required for this one because it is a one shot comp and then for your uh biscuit if you can get uh damage resist bypass that's awesome uh two second start burn cheese uh comp whistle is being applied to uh frost queen as well as white lily here all right uh so this comp is good against a lot of different teams uh in most cases you're gonna be able to beat i would say almost every single comp even counters a lot of the two seconds as well um only problem that i kind of had sometimes is feather comp will be a very uh that's kind of a counter to a team like this it is a one shot comp all right um so i would say try to stay away from feather comps but against other ones most of the time you will be able to win all right i think this one's gonna be a stormbringer uh right here they also do have the charm as well but here we go we're gonna go with this one all right so this is gonna be a stormbringer with elder fairy and they have a frost queen white lily all right so you see the burnt cheese uh going out protecting our frost queen all right early and then the rest of them just follows up and uh it's a easy 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 victory right here all right so it's a really really simple quick um you know uh, I, I would say uh one shot comp it doesn't require insane insane toppings just because of the fact that you know uh the standard in most of the uh, one shot comps but seasons ago is a two second start white lily which i don't even have all right but this one allows you to you know use the one shot comp with stormbringer uh with burnt cheese which is available inside of the mileage shop easy two second start because all you need to do is put on um d5 of the swift chocolate and then uh you know you just follow it up with your white lily and frost queen that a lot of people are probably already using uh in this case again if you don't have white lily uh and you have golden cheese then putting golden cheese in here as well so instead of uh white lily if you don't have white lily you can put in golden cheese and instead of the uh treasures like this you can actually go with the vial and the feather because uh now you have golden cheese as well uh if you don't want to even go with the the feather you can also just go with uh the scroll or even the whistle that is also a possibility as well make sure to have 
a three second star on golden cheese as well just kind of go with what you find is the best for you i personally like the white lily one better for me uh and i just go with the straight damage with the scroll right there but that's how i do it uh for the one shot comp right now without the two second star white lily all right next one is gonna be the standard kind of team this was also shared by uh wolfie jen uh earlier uh and i did kind of review it uh for the paper charm as well and that's gonna also have the paper charm uh, level one is again fine it's okay uh with the uh jelly watch as well as the whistle whistle being applied to stormbringer as well as frost queen right and the topping here is going to be five of the juicy apple jelly same thing here uh we have five of the swift chocolate for elder fairy focusing on the uh cooldown as well as damage resist and the biscuit at least one hp one here and then some extra damage resist uh, and cooldown is going to be good so icicle yeti you can either uh go with the full uh serum raspberry or just the full swift chocolate focusing on uh cooldown as well as attack uh, for the serum raspberry the same thing as the one shot comp if you guys want to go with that all right uh, and then for the financier, it's going to be a uh, full on uh, swift chocolate as well, focusing on damage resist and cooldown. We have the damage resist as well for the uh, biscuit. And then for Frost Queen, it's going to be full solid almond with uh, damage resist as well as cooldown focus. Around 8% is where we want it with the same biscuit as before. All right, uh, for this Yeti, I'm actually going to go with the uh, swift chocolate, just uh, going with the cooldown. So this comp is also very standard. Um, I would say it works uh, pretty good against a lot of the uh, uh, even feather comps right now as well. Uh, so here we go. Let's go. So something like this uh, with uh, the feather here. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go with this. But ma mainly like the uh, paper charm you got to realize is going to be great against something like, you know, uh, Elder Fairy, Financier that are in the enemy team. So here we go. All right. So Elder Fairy, our Yeti is going to protect. All right, Frost Queen, Financier protects uh, Frost Queen as well. All right, and then uh, we're able to go and have our cookies just kind of melt them. Uh, Elder Fairy and Financier, they, they do a great job in protecting our cookies. All right, and then uh, Icicle Yeti also does protect our cookie from the Frost Queen damage as well, which is uh, really, really good. All right, and there you go. That was a triple uh, DPS with the Feather. Uh, this one's a little bit tough to verse against uh, or with a you know one shot comp. So this is kind of the team that I use uh, against the uh, triple DPS or any of the feather comps right now. And then the last comp that I want to share with you guys is going to be the full on tank build uh, that I kind of briefly reviewed as well uh, during my live streams. That's, and that's going to be with uh, Stormbringer, Hollowberry, Icicle Yeti, uh, Elder Fairy, as well as Financier. Uh, this one's going to be with the Monocle. Uh, this also, I believe it was shared by Direct as well. Uh, Monocle does a great job in cleansing any of like White Lilies, uh, you know, Entanglement as well as Frost Queen's Frost or Freeze. And there's a lot of uh, different debuffs that are going on right now too. So the Monocle does uh, well in providing that extra debuff uh, resist as well as, uh, you know, the healing. All right. And also just the... Um, cleanse as well all right so uh the topping for holiday is gonna follow the solid almond with cooldown focus and the damage resist and the biscuit damage resist is what you want to focus on because she is going to be soaking up a lot of damage uh stormbringer same topping as before with the juicy apple jelly our elder fairy this time around though is going to be using five of the solid almond because elder fairy also is going to be taking a good chunk of damage as uh you know you are going to be taunting with elder fairy uh focusing on the damage resist as well as the cooldown biscuit is the same icicle yeti full on swift chocolate as before with the biscuit uh being the same and last one finish here is gonna be using full on swift chocolate same as before cooldown and damage resist focus with damage resist uh you know biscuit as well all right so this one is gonna be great against non paper charm one all right uh non paper charm uh team is going to be the team that you want to uh verse uh, when you're using this team all right so this was a non paper charm they do have uh the feather as well as the vial so we can go up against this one here let's go all right but this one is gonna be with the rebel all right uh it's an interesting team here definitely as you guys can see uh we're able to just tank through all the damage that they're doing we're able to cleanse uh you know the uh the debuffs that they're sending out against with rebel and things like that financiers protecting our stormbringer allowing stormbringer to just teach, deal so much damage here all right so 
it's a good uh, good tanky team, especially if you don't have any of your you know White Lily, you don't have Frost Queen leveled up. Uh, then Stormbringer is going to be your hyper carry. Uh, pretty much that's what it is here with the Monocle. Monocle doesn't have to be level 12 either. Just, uh, you know, it's really there to do the cleansing and the uh, extra uh, buffs as well. Uh, so there you guys go. A uh, team you guys can use with full tank right there as well. All right. So those are going to be three of your Stormbringer comps that you guys can try out right now. Again, I would say the replacements are a bit difficult uh, for a lot of these comps. Uh, just that the one shot comp has the flexibility of using either golden cheese or white lily uh, but this one it's a bit tough to try and replace maybe you guys can replace uh frost queen with someone like uh, you know sometimes like shining glitter uh that's okay too kind of works out because of the buff that you get from stormbringer uh, but besides that like on this comp too uh it's really hard to replace any of the uh, frontline tanks uh, maybe you can replace elder fairy with fettuccine but that's gonna be like uh you know you're gonna be losing out on a lot of your sustain as well there uh, so just keep those in mind if you don't have financier go and get financier it's a free uh epic from the mile shop or not a free but you can get financier from the mile shop uh, magic candy plus 10 is perfectly fine so uh, try and get that if you can't get financier some t uh like here then I would guess the only replacement is going to be burnt cheese. And that's pretty much what the only option you really have uh, for Finisier replacement. That is going to be kind of similar. All right. So try them out and uh, see how well you do.